Hey, what's going on Ecom Dominators? Thank you so much for watching today's video. I have a really great one for you today and I'm actually filming inside of my hotel room because I just got a message from one of my students and um, I really, really want to share it with you guys. So I decided to make this quick video about this because I believe it's so, so important, okay? So as you have seen already on the title, I'm going to be talking about how to analyze your Facebook ad metrics, okay? Because so many people are doing it wrong. So many misinformation are all over YouTube and the internet. And so this video, I'm going to show you how one of my students implemented the strategies that I taught him and he was able to revive a design that he thought was not profitable. He ran it again using the strategies I taught him on how to actually read your Facebook metrics, okay? So let's get into it. Now, before I get into it, I'm going to show you his um, message to me. So, where is it? Okay, here it is. So he asked me, um, you know, hey, what's up? And I said, you know, how's everything going? And he told me that he watched one of my training videos and he hit his first winning t-shirt designs. And how he did this was actually quite interesting. Um, he said he actually revived an old design that he thought didn't sell because so many people are saying, oh, read this Facebook metric. Uh, this one is supposed to be below one. This one is supposed to be below 0.5, you know, all these crazy, crazy numbers that people are actually following um, to determine whether or not this campaign is going to be you know a waste of money or this campaign is going to be scalable okay so he said but after he watched my videos he retested an old design and was able to find his first ever winning t-shirt design that is the best feeling ever i remember um, hitting my first winning t-shirt design myself so he's able to scale it um, right now because of what I teach inside of my course okay so I just want to make a quick video on just basically how what type of metrics should you be looking at okay now I'm going to hop on back to this point alrighty so here are the top metrics that I look at okay so now these metrics may seem very familiar if you already know how to run your own Facebook ads but I'm just gonna quickly go through um, these very common metrics. Now, um, for these metrics, of course, I talk a lot more in depth inside of my course, but right here, I'm going to give you just a quick overview, a quick uh, rundown, okay? So the first one is CPC or cost per click. Now, obviously we want our cost per click to be as low as possible, hence, you know, you don't wanna pay, you know, a lot of money uh, every time someone clicks on your ad, okay? So. I like to see preferably under $1, okay? That's a good cost per click. Anything uh, above that is a little bit too expensive for me, okay? And the next one I'll talk about is called CPM or um, cost per million, meaning how much money you have to pay for Facebook to show it to a thousand people, okay? And normally I'm looking for a number that's less than 20, preferably something that is less than um, 10. Okay, and I'm usually hitting this now as your pixel mature, it will come down um, as you get more pixel data and as your pixel ages. So the next one is CTR or click through rate. Obviously you want this number to be as high as possible, which means a lot of people are interested in your ad and clicking through it, okay? So I like to see it above a 2%. Now, sometimes 1% is okay, but preferably above a 2%. Um, I have some of my students actually get 5% click-through rate, which is amazing. The last one I usually look at is called CPC or cost per purchase, okay? And this number can vary based on how much um, profit you are banking per the product that you're advertising. So say, for example, you're advertising a t-shirt, usually um, we bank $17 per sale. So we definitely want our cost per purchase to be below $17 to be profitable. And that is the number that makes the most sense. All right. So I hope I didn't lose anybody. If I lost you in the process, go ahead and rewind and rewatch what I just said, or you can comment down below for me to explain it further.
Now, this is what was different that I teach inside of my course and to my students is what is the ultimate metric, okay? Now, the ultimate metric is purchase, okay? It doesn't matter that your, what I just mentioned, your CPC is, you know, um, $5, okay? I don't care that these numbers are terrible. If you are profitable, right? Meaning you're getting a positive return on investment, then scale. Don't let these numbers in Facebook tell you, oh, this is not good, you should cut it, okay? Um, basically, employing this strategy, I call KISS, which is, you know, a lot of people know it as keep it super simple. Some people say keep it stupid simple. You know, just keep it simple. When you're running any ads, the only thing we are looking for is are you profitable? Okay, are you profitable? Because I don't care if I'm getting like $10 cost per click and, but I'm, I'm profitable, I'm making money. I will pay, you know, $50 for my ads all day, every day if I'm making $300 off of that $50 that I'm spending, okay? So, how I view Facebook metrics is they're just guidelines, okay? They're just there um, so you can kind of judge the health of your ad, okay? But it should not be the, the determining factor, okay? Really look at your campaign and see it from your perspective as a marketer, okay? And you need to ask yourself one question, and that is, after the $25 ad spend, okay, that is my um, strategy, is asking yourself, am I profitable, okay? There's only two answers, okay? One is yes and one is no. Yes, then scale. I don't care how bad your metrics is. If you're profitable, scale it, okay? It's really that simple. If no, then cut the ad, move on. Don't get emotionally attached to that design. A lot of people do that. They, they're telling me, you know, oh, Cynthia, I love this design, I would buy 10. The thing is, it doesn't matter that you like it, it only matters if your audience like it, the market likes it, okay? So don't get attached to a design. If it doesn't work, you're not selling it, cut it, cut your losses, and move on. Okay, so a lot of people say, well, Cynthia, then when should I use these Facebook metrics, okay? Now, I'm not saying these Facebook metrics are not important. They're important, okay? But they're kind of theirs for me to use if, say, for an example, I'm breaking even, okay? So let's just say, Within the $25 ad spend, say I only made two sales, okay? Now, two sales, I'm kind of not making money, but I'm also not losing money. So that's kind of the point where I'm like, okay, should I scale, should I cut, okay? That's when I would turn to the Facebook metrics and look at my um, cost per click, my um, click-through rate, okay? Um, my CPM, okay? All of those things that kind of help me make a good decision based on whether or not I should keep the ad running or cut my losses, okay? So the next one is if you're not profitable, okay, but you're getting good numbers, like you're getting a lot of click-through rates, okay, you're getting a lot of people going to your website, your CPM is low, all that good numbers, okay, but you're not profitable, okay? So this would also be another way to kind of Okay, step back and kind of look at your Facebook metrics, okay? So here's an example. Say you're getting high link clicks and a low CPM, okay? These are good stats, okay? So what I would do is maybe retest the design using a different targeting or using a different ad type. And by ad type, I mean things like using a video instead of a photo, using a carousel ad instead, okay? Just something else um, that your audience may respond to. All right, so I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I want to show you my exact campaign that I'm actually running right now for one of my niche stores, okay? So right now, before I get into this, okay, this is kind of like how I'm going to explain to you after I show you my stats. So I'm going to hop on over to my ads manager and show you my three campaigns that I'm currently running for one of my niche stores, okay? So let's hop on over. 
All right, guys. So here I am on my actual um, ads manager account. Okay, this is the one where I'm actually running real ads to one of my niche stores. I have so many Shopify niche stores. This is just one of them. One of the ones I'm getting started with. Um, and so usually I show you guys a test account. This is actually my real account. So here are the three um, ads that I'm currently running. All at five dollars per day. Okay. And as you can see, the amount spent, I'm almost at the $25 mark. And once I test for $5 a day per, you know, for five days in total, I begin to look at, um, then I begin to look at number one, am I profitable, right? A simple question, okay? And take a look here. This first ad here, actually, I'm going to refresh this page because some people are going to say, oh, it's fake. So I'm going to refresh it so you guys know it is real, okay? So it's going to take a while. Uh, Facebook is going to load. I think the Wi-Fi in this hotel is actually kind of slow. All right, so now it loads, okay? So let's take a look at the first ad, all right? The first ad, I have four purchases, okay? That means I pay Facebook about six dollars per purchase and this is okay all these are t-shirt campaigns so i definitely want it under 17 dollars so if you look at my so-called facebook metrics you're going to see my cost per click is literally almost three dollars that's terrible my click-through rate is almost like it's 0.26 percent it's terrible Okay, but, and the link clicks I'm getting is only eight link clicks, but guess what? Out of the eight people that clicked on this ad, I made four purchases. That's half the people that clicked it, okay? So it's all about getting high quality traffic, not a lot of traffic, not the quantity, but the quality of your traffic, okay? So let's look at my second ad, okay? I've also spent the same amount of money, maybe a little bit more because Facebook spends a little bit more or less but I ran all three of these ads at the same time now this one guess what I got zero sales from this one and these are all the same t-shirt um, same t-shirt design by the way it's just different um, t uh, audience targeting so if you look at this one I got the same exact link clicks same exact uh, metrics okay it's kind of similar okay three dollars and forty four and less than one percent click through rate terrible metrics awful awful but zero sales at 25 what do I do I'm going to cut it so right now live I'm cutting an actual ad so I'm going to turn it off I'm not going to spend any more money because Facebook is telling me for my t-shirt design um, to this specific audience it is not converting it is not working okay so I'm going to cut it okay let me look at the last ad and for this one I got one sale okay and had similar CPC has similar click-through rate all both terrible and I've only got one sale okay which means it cost me about $24 for that sale so I'm not profitable I'm I'm not um, I'm at a loss okay because from that one t-shirt I actually only earned $17 so I am not profitable so guess what I'm going to also cut this ad and what I'm left with is this one that is making me money okay meaning I have found an audience that actually likes my t-shirt design so this is the one I'm going to scale okay cut the ones that aren't working and scale the ones that are so tonight I'm going to right after this video I will scale this ad okay and you can scale it very easily go ahead and just click this one and come over here and what I'm gonna do is come over here and you can actually adjust the budget now a lot of people say um, you know you need to Let me just okay now a lot of people say um, you know I, I usually just adjust 
the budget right on here okay I know a lot of people will say well Cynthia I heard a lot of people say you know you got to duplicate the ad then increase the budget because it'll mess with the optimization honestly I've tried both and it's pretty similar results for me I just go ahead and increase the budget right on this one but that's what I really want to talk about here so let's hop on back and let's continue all right guys so we are back here and the next one we're right now I'm going to kind of explain my three campaigns that I was showing you okay so what does these three ads have in common right so first off $25 ad spend which is the maximum ad spend that I recommend to test any design and here's what I found they all have terrible click-through rate terrible CPC and okay CPM okay I have about um, $8 $7 CPM I didn't show it but that that's what I got okay here is what how I would go about um, scaling and cutting ads okay so ad number one as we just saw I got four sales I'm definitely scaling that one because all it matters is am I profitable and the answer is yes so I'm gonna scale number two $25 ad spend zero sales I'm gonna cut it immediately ad number three one sale I am NOT profitable right so I'm going to cut it then you know because I got one sale it kind of makes me wonder you know is it just maybe a bad audience but a really good design so I would retest it to a different audience all right so I just want to show you how super simple it is to kind of gauge whether or not an ad campaign is working very well or should you cut it okay that is how one of my students used this exact method that I teach inside of my course to revive a design that he thought was not a winner okay because he got so many misinformation from other people says oh well your click-through rate has to be you know this number and you know your you know your uh, this your cost per um, link click is supposed to be this. you know all of these numbers are meaningless just ask yourself one simple question are you profitable yes then scale no then cut all right all right, and I know if you have any more questions, I really recommend that you join my free Facebook group where I um, will answer everyone's questions, um, no matter you know if it's advanced or beginner, I answer everyone, okay? We have thousands of active students inside of that group, okay? Over 26,000 people, passionate entrepreneurs, okay? people who are newbies starting out with print-on-demand or people who've been in the print-on-demand game for years okay so we can have a good mix of people in there so I really recommend that you join it so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one